there's never been a time when someone has been able to sleep their way to the top. You always sleep your way to the bottom, and then you have to work your way back up to the top. That's how that works. From director Thomas Gibson and executive producer Peter Spira, being a hip-hop groupie can certainly have its perks and its pitfalls. The girls be willing to do anything to get backstage. They just want to give up that peep, you know what I'm saying? They throw it at you. She pulls up her skirt. It had a tattoo that said, Akon's Punani, sign here. They'll do the man and the next man to get to the man. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get ahead. I think that my relationships with celebrities, whether I slept with them or whatever, I definitely think it has gotten me free. No female has ever made a career of being a groupie quite like best-selling author Corinne Steffens, AKA Superhead. She said in the book that you were the one that gave her that nickname. Yeah, she said a lot in the book, man. She says a lot, but hey, she wasn't giving me credit for that, I'll take it. When she told me that she was Superhead, she was proud of it. I was like, whoa, you Superhead? I believe that's a self-claimed title. I don't believe it was no votes given. She was like, well, you don't know, you know, they call me Superhead. I called Mr. Marcus immediately, like, I got this chick, man. They call her Superhead, and I just found out why. She got me just like that. Just went, wow, 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 wow. She made herself an opportunity to be in certain places. I had to be a hustler, because if I didn't do it, I was going to die out here. She want to hoe up. She want to get introduced to certain people, jump on their coattail, and get paid for what she do. Ice-T took her under his wing. Shaq and Tigger and all these dudes. She was kicking it with big-time celebrities, living the lifestyle a lot of hoes would want to live. She got down with the biggest names in the industry and then dropped dime on every major player who ever shared her bed. She certainly went all out in telling those stories, and maybe she pissed some people off. She jacked up a lot of people's relationships, put a lot of people's business out in the street. If you gonna be a hoe, be a good hoe. If I got a situation over here with a wifey or a girlfriend, don't try to blow up my spot. You know, she'll say anything. She doesn't care about ruining others. I don't have any regrets, and I don't really care how people feel. You've read the books, you've heard the gossip. Now hear the other side of the story. She definitely has a mental instability. She went on Oprah and said, I'm trying to change my life. But then, yeah, you still sleep with Whitney Houston husband. Bobby Brown said to me, what the hell are you doing with her? I said, what was you doing with her? I'm the first chapter of your book, and I ain't even got none. She worked her way up to be a celebrity, but she's probably one of the most hated celebrities. If I see Corinne, it's on, it's on and popping. I'm shocked that she's still breathing. Corinne, you are the space for all women. You know, there are nights when you sit up and you question your entire life. Like, why was I even born? I don't understand. And I, I, I've had nights like that. Kiss and Tail, the Hollywood jump off. Narrated by yours truly. Coming soon to DVD.